Hi everyone, it's Victoria James and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscriber button and join the J-Bay fam. We would love to have you here to chit chat and all that about luxury beauty as we do on this channel. Today, I'm doing something super exciting, which is demonstrating the new cushion foundation from Gucci. Gucci said, we're not gonna forget the brown girls, okay? <laughs> In their um, cushion foundation. And so I have shade 10 and we are gonna test it out today. Here she is. This is the Cushion de Beauté from Gucci. And it comes with 0.49 ounces, so half an ounce of product. And it has a 12 month shelf life. The shade is shade 10 and there are 12 shades available. Now Cushion foundations tend to be um, like a light to medium coverage and are designed to be used kind of everyday makeup kind of kind of thing. And so it comes with its own puff. These either should be washed or you should have replacements. In my case, I'm more than likely going to use a brush to apply mine, but for demonstration purposes today, we are going to go ahead and use the puff that comes with it on one side of the face and then a brush on the other. Here's what it looks like when you first open it. it comes with your puff sitting right here and then you have a really nice mirror. And this is meant to keep your foundation fresh. This cover here, and it opens like a door. This would have a cover on it when you first purchase it. But because I did a haul video, I went ahead and tore mine off already because I wanted to see what the color was. And I feel like this is good. Um, basically all of your foundation is in this sponge and you're going to press your puff to get the product. And now before I put it on, I'm gonna go ahead and prime with the Gucci Serum de Beauté Mattifying Primer. So all you do is pat to apply. This looks a tad warm. I do hope it settles in, honey. Look at the coverage. I didn't want to go darker than this because the next shade up is 11 and it's kind of reddish. I don't know if that's going to work either. But this is looking incredibly warm. Like almost all of it. Child, please oxidize, Lord. coverage on this on first application is beautiful absolutely beautiful now i did purchase this from selfridges it's not yet available in the states i think this might be my first time having to return something to selfridges because this color is just looking entirely too warm but let's take a look at the formula, like the coverage, the finish. I'm a neutral undertone, so I have both cool and warm undertones in my skin. And so my shade in their regular foundation is 420N in both the matte and the hydrating foundations. So there we are. Very obviously not my undertone. I would say the shade is fine. Like that, like if it was 10 neutral, it would probably look great. But since it's more of a golden undertone, it's just not working for me. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. But for the sake of the demonstration, again, I'm going to show you what this looks like when applied with a brush on the other side of my face. So I'm just using a flat, like a rounded foundation brush from Sephora number 70. You can't win them all when you're um, shopping online. You're gonna make some mistakes. And so for this one, I decided to just take a chance and say, okay, between 10 and 11, 
I felt like the model for 11 was a bit deeper than I am. So I went with 10. But I probably would be better off with 11 and just applying it lighter. And take it down a little bit. I feel like you get more coverage with the cushion, surprisingly. Yeah, I'm going to take the coverage down a little bit so that my powders can help me out with this uh, undertone. Okay. Again, we know this is not my undertone, friends. <laughs> Very hydrating finish because I did put on a mattifying primer. So I just want to show you, it looks really like my skin looks hydrated. All right, let's put that back for just a minute. And I'm going to use some powders to help us bring this back to my actual undertone. And I know this is not a um, Givenchy video, but we are going to talk about Prism Libre and how clutch it is for these situations. <laughs> because we are going to use this girl primarily to fix my face. So we're going to disperse like just a standard amount, boop, boop, but also cover these as much as we can and get a little more red. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush, very fluffy brush. This one is from Sephora. It is the Featherweight Powder Brush. You, if you have the La Mer Powder Brush or something similar, like round and fluffy like this, that'll do as well. So I'm going to mix all the colors together with primarily the red being front and center. And then I'm going to go all over my face. If you have a color corrector, for example, that is meant to mix into your foundation, you can use that as well. But in this case, since we have a powder, I'm sorry, a cushion foundation that is not in a bottle and that you can't pump out, I think the next best solution is this, to bring in a powder to finish it off and kind of um, neutralize it for yourself. Now, this side of my face compared to this side of my face, do you see how much yellow you can see? compared to this side, it's coming closer to my actual skin tone. I'm gonna apply a little more on the other side. Now, I will say, adding this powder and having it come back to my skin, my undertone like this, I don't think I'm gonna replace this. <laughs> as annoying as it is, I don't think I'm gonna bother sending this back and waiting for the you know, exchange or whatever, because it's overseas. But when the foundation comes to the States, I will try number 11 for you and I will do a short as I normally do when we do these, um, when I, after I've done a review, when I get a different color, I do a short. So please do subscribe so that you can make sure that you don't miss that um, once it happens. And I am just going to finish around my mouth and like my darker areas to make sure that we're good nice and even and this will be sprayed down and all that so don't worry I know it look a little powdery right now but trust the process friends come on Funda. say hi say hi everyone I'm Shango I was snoring under my mommy's office chair yes I so sleepy from chasing Bella all day all morning this looks great with that powder 
this looks really good. The coverage is like a light medium, especially after I sheared it out a bit. I think you can actually get like a nice solid medium out of this. So I'd be interested to try 11 and, you know, see what it does. But yeah, this looks great so far. I'm just going to put on a few more things. I'll be back. And then, um, and then after that, we'll, I'll just give you kind of like my generalized thoughts and we'll do, um, a check-in, like a four hour check-in and then an eight hour, I'll give my final thoughts. All right. All right, sweetheart. <laughs> we'll be back. All right, you guys, we're back with a finished face and I like this foundation. If you look a little closer, you can see, like I said, light medium coverage when I buffed it in really well. But you can get a solid medium with this. I just put on a little bit of the Danessa Myricks Groundworks Blooming Romance Palette on the eyes. I used my Gucci Brow Pencil in Brun, my Gucci Blush in, in Warm Berry number six. And then on the lips, I have the new Merit Lightweight Matte Lipstick in Antibes. But yeah, that's the look. I did a little bit of bronzer around the perimeter from Victoria Beckham, and that's all she wrote. So I am going to report back to you guys. It's about 11.20 right now, so I'll report back to you in eight hours with a four-hour check-in. So I'll see you later. Totally different time of day, obviously. It is 4.25. Um, as you can see, or I don't know if you can see from here, but I'm sweating. <laughs> And I'm sweating for a couple of reasons. One, I had to run and pick up my daughter. I woke up 10 minutes after my alarm. It didn't even like, it was, it didn't even go off. Like it went off, but it was on silent. I'm like, what the hell? So I ran to go get her, just made it, just made it. And then when I got back to the house, I had to pat myself down. Man, listen, full on transfer. <laughs> now, does this claim to be long wearing? No. But I will say that it wears evenly. So when I go to pat the sweat, I am getting full transfer. So I will say, you better prime <laughs> and lock this girl in, okay? If you want it to last. If you want it to last for a really long time. Um, I think it wore away evenly, like I said. My face doesn't look patchy. I still look like I have it on, you know? I've still got coverage. But when I go to pat down, man, that shit's coming. Oh. Um, we're gonna check back. Oh, pardon me. Oil production. It's fine. Totally fine. It didn't overdo it. Um, very normal oil production. So I will check back with y'all after I put Nala to bed. So around nine. And then we'll do my final thoughts from there. All right, end of the day, it is 10.30. It's 10.30, I almost did a 12 hour wear test, you guys. So let's talk about it. Um, I have been licked by the dogs. I have eaten. I have done all the things and I have been sweating because I was cooking. So my takeaway, as I like tap, it definitely transfers, it transfers. So if you're planning to make this stay, you're gonna need other products in order to make it stay. So it is not uh, purported to be long wearing you guys. So I don't feel like that's a strike against it. I'm just pointing out that it, you know, doesn't wear all day. Now, when I think about a cushion foundation, a cushion foundation is meant to be carried with you so it's meant to touch up like inherently <laughs> that's what they are um that's what they're for and i mean it's beautiful i would happily carry it around in my purse but when i think about my lifestyle i don't know that it's necessarily realistic for me also something that i felt was a little interesting about this particular cushion foundation is that it does not come with a refill. So it comes with half an ounce of product in the sponge, which is normal, but I would like my one fluid ounce. You know what I mean? Give me a backup sponge. 
give me a backup container to put to put in there. Um, uh, Chantecaille, for example, did that with their release of their cushion foundation. Um, I can't speak to all cushion foundations because I haven't been able to purchase because they don't have my shade, but I almost feel like that's a standard practice that it comes with a refill so that you get a full ounce of product. And this one did not. So that, that makes it even less worth it. You know what I mean? Cause it's definitely not cheap. And um, you only get half an ounce of product. So let's talk about, let's talk a little bit about shade range. I feel like what Gucci did this time around was they gave you some pretty hard undertones. <laughs> they gave you some pretty hard undertones. I think that for each shade, there is a specific undertone, like super specific. There's no middle road, you know, because uh, that bad boy is golden, golden, golden. And it was downright yellow. So while I do have golden undertones and I could make it work with the powder, I would like, like, how am I supposed to touch up? You see what I'm saying? I can't do that here. Um, I can go with the next shade up, which I plan on doing. I plan on getting the next shade up, especially since I want to show it to y'all. Um, but I definitely feel like this product is not ready to purchase. I, I just feel like they really missed the mark with not giving you a refill so that you get a full fluid ounce of product because for the price, you're paying for what you would normally pay for a full ounce of product. Um, so I just feel like that that was a missed opportunity there. Wear time is, is not a strike against it. I think that it gives really great coverage, uh, especially if you use the sponge that is included. You get amazing coverage. Um, a little goes a long way. That's another thing. Even though you get half an ounce, you can, you know, you can use this for a while. Like you could probably get that whole 12 months out of it without needing a refill. I definitely still have it on. You know, I feel like I still look like I have makeup on. I don't feel it like I set it and it's set. Um, but man, you you sweat and it is over for you. <laughs> I didn't put any setting spray on y'all. I just used um, Fix Plus to kind of melt my powder in, but I didn't use any setting spray and I didn't use any long wearing primer either. Maybe that would... Um, that would give me a different perspective and I would feel differently about it. But I would just say it's an okay foundation. I don't think that you should rush out and get it. I think you should wait for it to come to the States. Um, that way you can have an easier time with the return policy if you don't care for it. Um, I, pro I could see this being in Nordstrom, Saks, Neiman's, um, and Sephora because Sephora carries Gucci. So I could see it being there and if it is there, and you have a, a location that carries Gucci, maybe you can even swatch, you know? But I think it would be better to wait for it to come stateside than to rush out and order it um, off suffrages. So yeah, those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> and that it gave you uh, some insight into this product and helped sway your purchase decision one way or the other. You know, I'm just one person with one opinion. Um, again, I will double back with shade 11 for those of you who are interested in purchasing it. And with that, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up so that everyone else can see this video who needs to see it. Don't forget to share if you feel like you have a uh, platform in which people would enjoy my content. That would help a lot. I really want to I really want to break that 3K mark, you guys. I have been sitting at this like 26, 2700 mark for a very long time. And I would really like to finally break 3K. Like I haven't done that in so long. So yeah, um, thank you again for watching, you guys. Love you very much. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you next time. Mwah. Bye.